Modern navies require that their fast patrol boats should have maximum flexibility, both of performance and armament arrangement. These vessels must combine the capabilities of gunboat, torpedo boat, mine layer or raiding craft, whatever the requirement may be. They must also be able to change their armament quickly from one role to another. With two major design themes, a hard chine planing hull to give the best combination of speed with sea keeping qualities, and gas turbine power for performance flexibility, Vosper have designed and built a series of fast patrol boats, both for the British and for foreign navies. This is HMS Brave Borderer. Designed by Vosper in collaboration with the Admiralty, the Brave class are among the fastest operational warships in the navies of the world. Their maximum speed is more than 50 knots. Construction is of welded aluminium alloy framing and double diagonal wooden skin with fiberglass sheathing below the waterline to prevent damage from marine borders and to eliminate soakage. The Braves are powered by three Bristol Sidley marine gas turbines driving through Allen Stockett E-Drive reverse reduction gears. With a length of 96 feet and a beam of 20 full force craft, space and weight are at a premium. To give high performance and good load carrying capacity, structure, machinery and equipment weight have been kept to the minimum. Specially designed Vosper lightweight electrical equipment has been used throughout. As a propulsion unit, the gas turbine is extremely compact for its power. The jet pipes go through the air settling chamber and the exhaust passes through ports on the transom. High speed, small diameter, fully cavitating propellers are used in all Vosper gas turbine boats. The propellers, the result of research in the company's own cavitation tunnel, have many advantages over more conventional units, including weight saving and reduced appendage drag. Servicing and maintenance are negligible with the gas turbine. The design is basically so simple. The check on the oil filters takes only a minute or two. To clear residual salt water, not extracted by the intake splitters, the compressor of each engine is flushed through with distilled water. This is all that's needed for routine maintenance. Here's the Action Information Center. The engineer's control panel is located in this compartment. The gas turbines are started up from here, but all engine handling from idling to top speed is controlled by combined throttles and gear levers on the bridge. Normal complement is 17, 3 officers and 14 ratings. Crew accommodation is sizable by any standards and affords a degree of comfort unknown in previous craft of this type. The starting procedure for the marine Proteus is straightforward. The engine can idle indefinitely and no warming up is needed. From cold, power can be put on within a matter of minutes. Mechanically simple, the engine has great performance flexibility. The free turbine principle built into the design allows for the delivery of full power over a wide range of output shaft RPM. Life between overhauls for the marine Proteus is around 2,000 hours, and even then an engine change can be effected in some six hours. Armament changes and all major items of machinery can be completed within a similar period. Engine handling for manoeuvring in harbour presents no problems with gas turbines. Brave class set a new standard in bridge layout for warships. 
there's a simplified console into which all control equipment is concentrated. These craft are extremely manoeuvrable. With the wheel hard over, they'll turn in less than five times their own length. Following from the Brave class, Vosper designed and built Ferocity as a private venture. Smaller than the Braves, she has a length of just over 88 feet and a beam of 22 feet. Her performance and armament capacity are just as formidable. The Ferocity's hull is somewhat deeper and softer forehead than that of the Braves and is especially good in rough seas. This same hull form was used in an 80-foot, 37-knot boat designed for use on Lake Maracaibo, and it's seen here at full speed in rough weather during trials in the English Channel. Although this hull form isn't so fast as that of the Brave class in still water, this is more than offset by its excellent sea-keeping qualities in bad weather. Only two marine Proteus are used, compared with the three Proteus which power the Braves. These are uprated engines giving 4,250 horsepower each. The two Mathway diesels, which are coupled to the main Vosper V-Drive reduction gearboxes, are used for manoeuvring in harbour. They also allow for long-range patrols, giving a range of over 2,000 nautical miles at 9 to 10 knots. Construction is of wood with framing of laminated timber bonded with synthetic adhesives. Glued throughout, the hull has no conventional fastening. Fiberglass sheathing is fitted below the waterline. Superstructure is of light alloy, either riveted or welded. Both the enclosed wheelhouse and all the accommodation are ABC protected against fallout, bacteriological and chemical clouds. The deck and superstructure can be washed down by pre-wetting sprays from inside the ABC citadel. Vosper are currently building two fast patrol boats for the Royal Danish Navy. With a hull form similar to that of the Braves, the construction will, like ferocity, be entire. Further boats of this type are being built under license at the Royal Dockyard in Copenhagen. Vosper have also designed and built two all-gas turbine-powered boats for the Federal German Navy. The first of these is the 92-foot-long Fyle. Generally similar to ferocity in appearance and layout, she is also constructed of resin-bonded timber. Power is supplied by two uprated marine Proteus engines. Alternators driven by rover gas turbines provide electrical power, and both the Proteus and rover engines run on pool diesel fuel. The second boat, Strahl, has an increased length of 96 feet, although the beam of 24 feet is common to both craft. Broadly similar to the Brave class, Strahl is fitted with three Proteus. The armament of these vessels can be varied for different roles. They are seen here armed as gunboats. In the torpedo boat role, they carry up to four 21-inch torpedoes in side-launching chutes. With their highly developed hull design, 
compact and powerful engines giving both high maximum and cruising speeds, Vosper craft for coastal operations are equally capable of defensive or offensive roles. Light, fast and formidably armed, they make a striking contribution to the fighting strength of any modern navy. Thank you.